the floppy disks these copy disks are actually for the A22 the full version um, which kind of surprises me First error there. The target directory is invalid. C colon slash. Oh. Okay. It's on disk two then. Try a setup instead then. Huh. Well then, that's interesting. Fizz the install is a bit weird. There is just a straight off DOS install, but uh, and now it works. Hmm. Probably because I just told it to install to a folder on C drive itself as the root. Although that seems weird to me. Yes, weird. Right, drivers installed. Let us click OK. Insert disk two. Ah, floppy swapping. Something I do not miss. This will install the rest of the drivers and utilities. Yes, I am player 11, which must be the standard video programming. Some batteries for the controller. The controller takes standard double A's, so it's always easy. MPEG port, configuration, uh, DMA will need to be six. Uh, I know that because my sound card's on DMA5 already. Insta Media View. Easy to use. MPEG player. Yes. Sound card. Sound Blaster Pro. All compatible. Select the program group, print some media program icons, it will go on TV utilities. Let us read. Instant Media View 1.1W integrates video and audio functions into a user friendly entertainment system. With Insta Media View 1.1, you can now easily play most kinds of CDs, including music CDs, MPEG CDs, 
and MPEG files. Besides standard functions, there is also a set of powerful and advanced features to help you utilize your CD-ROM drive and MPEG board. Now you can truly enjoy the world of multimedia entertainment. Well, we'll see once it is installed, shall we? Now, one thing I do know from reading my old issue of PC Pro, for doing video capture and everything, they seriously recommend only doing short clips. Um, for digital video editing in an article they have in that issue 1, they recommend clips between 10 and 12 seconds with the audio as an external file. Uh, very different from how we can do it these days. Skip the read me. Thank you very much. Windows will now restart. I definitely do need a new hard drive though in this machine as it does sometimes just sits there and stall like that. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it but yeah it just kind of sits there and doesn't quite know what to do. So let's run the Instamedia MPEG player instead and have a look and see how that plays. MPEG files. Uh, the system again for just the members is a 33 megahertz D86, uh, DX, DX486, 33 megahertz, let's actually get that said correctly, uh, an 8 meg of 30 pin SIM memory. Uh, so, let us. <coughs> nice. Uh, I also assume this will allow you to play VCDs and such. Um, and if it's like some other software, the actual physical power button on the screen will be a, a turn off button. Right, so let me open a file. I'll get the Zing test clip and see how that plays on here. I'd be pretty pissed if it doesn't work proper. And it does! Although it's kind of off. Um, uh, buh, 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 buh. Either my batteries are dead or it doesn't work with this program. But the MPEG player is playing the video almost correctly and now I've killed it there we go yes well, let's close that and see what happens uh, let's try the Zing player itself then, because I actually do prefer that to most of these other older MPEG players. And I shouldn't need to change anything. It should just be able to load and play. <coughs> nope. So, this is settings, MPEG driver. Right. Yeah. Well, let's try Instamedia with one of my other MPEG videos I've got on here. I'll see if there's some settings. Maybe video size, frame size. I 
in that window, is it? Well, uh, let's try one of them then. See what happens. I. Yep, doesn't play that. Probably because those files aren't full MPEG-1 compliance. Uh, I would say it's probably because of frame size. So I suppose I will try the Zing file again. Uh, and then I'll have to have... 